Okay guys, this video is gonna start off just a little bit weird, but I will explain why at this timestamp right there. Hey, what's up tech enthusiasts? It's your buddy DB Tech back with another exciting tech review. And today we're diving into the world of mini PCs with the Morphine M6. This little beast is packed with some seriously cool specs. So let's jump right in and explore what it has to offer. Under the hood, the Morphine M6 is powered by the Intel N6000 processor, which is built on the 10 nanometer lithography. This means you're getting a compact device that doesn't compromise on performance. With its four cores and four threads, you can easily handle multiple tasks without breaking a sweat. Whether you're crunching numbers, browsing the web, or streaming your favorite shows, this mini PC can handle it all. Now let's talk about speed, my friends. The M6 comes with a base frequency of 1.1 gigahertz, but when you need that extra boost, it can reach a burst frequency of 3.3 gigahertz, and that means you won't experience any annoying lags or delays ensuring a smooth and snappy user experience. But it's not just about the processor, folks. The Morphine M6 also rocks eight gigs of low power DDR4 memory, ensuring efficient performance while keeping your power consumption in check. You'll have no problem running your favorite apps and multitasking like a pro. Now let's talk connectivity. This little powerhouse comes equipped with an Intel AX201 Wi-Fi 6 module, giving you lightning fast and reliable wireless internet. And if you prefer a wired connection, don't worry because it's got you covered with its 2.5 gig RJ45 LAN port. So whether you're downloading large files or engaging in some tense online gaming, you can trust this mini PC to deliver a seamless and lag-free experience. The Morphine M6 is also all about versatility. With three USB 3.1 ports, you can connect your favorite external devices and enjoy high speed data transfers. Need to hook up a big screen TV or projector? No problem. The M6 comes with an HDMI 2 port that supports 4K resolution at a buttery smooth 60 Hertz. Plus, one of the Type-C ports offers even more possibilities, supporting both USB and DisplayPort at 4K 60 Hertz. It's like having a Swiss Army knife of connectivity options. And guess what, my tech savvy friends? The Morphine M6 is all about expandability too. It features two M.2 slots, one for PCIe, NVMe, and the other for SATA, which means you can easily add more storage or upgrade the existing configuration to suit your needs. Talk about future-proofing your setup. Last but not least, let's talk about power. The M6 supports Type-C power at 12 volts at three amps, providing a reliable and convenient power supply that won't let you down. To wrap it all up, the Morphine M6 is a compact and powerful mini PC that packs a serious punch. With its Intel N6000 processor, ample memory, extensive connectivity options, and expandability possibilities, it's a perfect choice for anyone looking for a versatile computing solution. Whether you're a productivity in enthusiast or a multimedia junkie, this little beast will exceed your expectations. So if you thought this video had a bit of a different tone to it, that's because I let ChatGPT write the script for this video just to see how it would go. So be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of that little bit there. Now also, there are a couple of things that I do want to mention about this device. Some of them are good, and some of them unfortunately are bad. But first, let's talk about the bad just to get that out of the way. When I first fired up the M6 for the very first time, it just logged me in with a user called PC which means that they've accepted all of the terms of service and whatnot that you have to go through when setting up a new PC with Windows installed on it. And for me, this is a bit of an issue as the average user might not be tech savvy enough to recognize that or do any due diligence to find out if there's anything else installed or modified on the device. Jay Collins over in my Discord server said that maybe all of this was because it was a review unit, but that unfortunately isn't the case as this device was shipped to me from Amazon Fulfillment. So this is a retail unit. Also, the Windows 11 license on it is activated with a digital license. So I'm guessing that they're just flashing the same image onto all of their M.2 devices for a lower cost on their end. So with that said, I would encourage anyone who buys this to wipe the included drive and install their favorite OS on it, whether it's Windows or Linux. But because this is a low power device at just a max of 36 watts, this would make for a great little home lab server to run Docker or Proxmox or whatever you wanted to run on it. So now that we have the bad out of the way, let's talk about what we would call the good in this case. Uh, the folks over at Morphine did let me know that the eight gig model uh, with 256 gig drive, which is the one I have here, as well as the 16 gig model with 512 gigs of storage uh, are both going on sale soon. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link in the video description. 
So guys, with that said, I am gonna go ahead and wrap this up. But uh, before I do that, I would, again, I'd like to know what you guys think about the, the Windows 11 license being pre-accepted, a user account being pre-created, that sort of thing. I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts are on that in the comment section down below. Again, I will have links to this in the description, uh, both over to their website, as well as the Amazon listing, if you wanna pick one of these up. But uh, again, with all of that said, I do wanna thank you guys for your time, and I will talk to you in the next video.